Chad Littlefield's parents, Don and Judy Littlefield, and his brother Jerry Richardson are with us exclusively this morning. Good morning to all of you, and because we haven't had a chance to speak before, I want to just share our condolences for the loss of your son. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. After everything you've been through, this two-year journey, what was it like to hear those words, guilty, ring out in the courtroom yesterday? Joyous. It was a um, uh, answered prayer. We've waited a long time um, to hear that, and we feel justice was served. Mr. Richardson, this jury didn't deliberate even any more than two and a half hours or so. Is there some satisfaction in how quickly and seemingly easily they rejected this claim of insanity? It was, it was just an answered prayer because we waited so long in all of our pain, it needed to be, it needed to be done, and I think that the jury did it, did it right. And that's, that was an answered prayer for us. Jerry, as I turn to you, there was a lot of testimony about the mental state of this defendant. I wonder where you come down on it. We now know the jury says he was not legally insane. Do you think he was mentally ill, or do you think this was all an act? <laughs> it was all an act. Uh, I, I taught him in high school, and that's... That's new on the, uh, out there. Everybody that, that knows me remembers that I worked with him. He was, that's just the way he was. He never grew up. He was still just opposite defiant, and uh, it, it, he, he had nothing wrong in the mind except for the drug use. Mrs. Littlefield, obviously this story, this case has received national attention because Chris Kyle was so well known. What has it been like for you and your family to go through this terrible ordeal in such a public way with all of these national headlines and even a movie focused on this case? Well, it's um, been focused on Chris Kyle and um, because Chad uh, was not in the movie, because the attention was not focused on, on him, um, we think it helped the case because then when they wanted to change a venue, well, uh, they had to remember that two men were, were murdered that night and um, Chad had not had the publicity uh, that Chris had. Um, and it, it was difficult for us because we had to remain quiet uh, because we didn't want to jeopardize the case in any way. So. Um, now is, is the time that uh, we want to honor and, and talk about our precious son, Chad. Right. And Mr. Richardson, he, excuse me, Mr. Littlefield, he deserves to be remembered. What would you want people, what would you want the world to know about the kind of man he was? Well, Chad was a, was a uh, quiet man. He uh, was a good listener. He and Chris... Uh, worked out together. They were soccer pops. That's where they met. And uh, Chris had some weights, and Chad wanted to go and work out. And uh, he wanted to help uh, the vets as they came back home. He wasn't a veteran himself, but he would always... Uh, talk to us about, I, I, I want to help these, these men that are coming home in any way I can. Yeah. And he loved them, and he loved to be with Chris, and he went with him. Chris chose him to go with him. He, uh, Chris was, was comfortable with Chad, and, and it, Chris, being a Navy SEAL, didn't trust a whole lot. So uh, Chad being... Um, Non-military. Uh, non, well, Chris, Chris served overseas, and Chad served when they came back. Right. He had a passion for um, uh, veterans. Yeah. So, but then Chad uh, was always um, a, a helping hand. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, he was a rock. He was... Um, just a, um, a good friend. If, if he was your good friend, um, you had a friend. Well, His motto was pass it forward. 
I'm sorry. Well, there's so much to say about your son and your brother. He was obviously a wonderful man. I'm glad he's finally getting the focus he deserves. Our very best to you, and thank you for being with us this morning.